After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. A lot of times when people come into jail, they are very upset with the officer. Sometimes they'll get physical. If they get physical, we have to throw them in isolation. We throw them in isolation, it stops the clock basically on them. A lot of times, due to their own behavior, can cause them to be in jail a lot longer than what they would be if they just went with the program. Take my hands. Hey, turn around and face the counter. Hey, this is going to go to a real bet. This is going to go to a real bet. I don't give a up, man. Get the out of me. You haven't been searched yet. I don't care. Get over to this counter. You're going to walk on your own accord, or it's going to be a bad day for you. I don't give a Stand up. Get up on your knees. Stand up. Hey. Hey. Like my ass? Hope you like my ass. This did not have to go this direction. You understand that, right? <laughs> I gave you the opportunity to conduct yourself like a gentleman. What is he brought in on today? What is he here for? He's currying his car off of Mount Tabor. The whole mountain? Uh, just a little bit of it. Uh, it really wasn't that far. It was like just a little bit over the curb. He was proving to his friends that he had balls. Well, there's no friends here for you to have to show off with right now, so there's really nothing for you to prove right now. Rodrigo, <laughs> <laughs> you were being so friendly. You. We're going to have to eat shirt off. Are you going to be combative with these handcuffs? Come on. I'm going to rest the man of what? Cut, cut the sweatshirt off. All right, get cut the scissors. It. Sleeves. Get the and I can see with. <laughs> Didn't even have to go this direction with this, man. Turn your head the other way. You can suck my. Don't grab it, finger. I ain't there. Right. Stand up. Walk like a grown up. You need to back up to the door with your hands through the food board. Pull your hands through. So just so you and I are clear, as long as you're in this cell and we don't have your fingerprints and we don't have your mug shots, this is dead time. This doesn't go toward you going home. So until you modify your behavior, you, you stay there. This is not the place for you to try and beat your chest and, and, and have all that bravado going on. It's not designed for you to win that way. You win by acting like an adult. So when he pulled away from you, I was like, okay, it's not just that yeah, he needs to go to the no. bathroom. Did he give you any problems? Um, no. I mean, he was getting a little lippy on the way down here. He was actually really cooperative at the scene. We kept him out of handcuffs for quite a while until the traffic officer came and, you know, did HD on, a, on his eyes and decided to arrest him. And he was pretty cooperative, transporting to the air, and he blew. He took a breath test. He blew one nine. He said he was driving. He wasn't drinking. The legal limit's .08. That's crazy. He's over double the legal limit without drinking. The drive down here, he started to get a little lippy, and he was listening to my radio, the police radio, and he started responding to. There was some description of a Hispanic male and an unrelated call, so he's like, "Ah, oh, Hispanic male, that's what all you look for," and started getting agitated. And once he got in here, I guess he. Wanted to put on it's the not show. gonna. It's not gonna be a good night for him. I can tell that already. <laughs> We're gonna check on Rodrigo, he's an ISO number one. Became uh, disrespectful, somewhat combative with the sergeant and the other guys on swing shift. We're gonna see if he's sobered up a little. Willing to go with the program and come on out. Hi, I'm Deputy Heener. So here's your charge, it's uh, driving under the influence. You also got a reckless driving with it, which generally they go hand in hand because you had to do something to get the police officer's attention. Remember your demeanor, how you were acting when you came in? When you came to jail? Not okay. Well, I can kind of enlighten you on what happened. When you came in, you were... You do know what happened? Okay. 
What I'd like to do is bring you out, let you sit out with the other people, watch some TV. I need to know if you're willing to cooperate. Yeah. All right, come on out. I'd like for you to walk straight up to that counter right there on the end slip. They uh, come in drunk, sit in the cell, sober up, sleep it off, get really cold. It's amazing what three hours in one of those cold cells will do to somebody that is under the influence and unruly. He came out a whole nother man, completely different than what he did on Swing Shift. About 12 years ago, I was in construction and I had a friend that worked here. They're transitioning from uh, the old Metro Gel to this new facility, and, and there was a, a big push on hiring. And so I made the jump and uh, got hired on and went through the academy, and it was a great experience, and I've loved it ever since. Jeez, yeah. Larry, what's going on, bud? I haven't seen you in forever. Woo, woo, what's up, okay. chicken booty? Woo, woo, oh, yeah. Well, that's not good, Larry. You can't just be grumpy all the time. I know. You can't just be grumpy all the time. You have to love uh, life sometimes. Lighten up, uh, lighten up, lighten up. You know, how you these first damn first handcuffs first. hurt so bad. Can you on this man? Come on, Officer Vice, please. And you're the only one that can loosen up. What did you bring Petrolina in for tonight? Uh, she was apprehended after she was caught shoplifting with uh, her little sister and her cousins, who she was using as lookouts. She gave a false date of birth. She presented herself as a minor. She was 19, so I confronted her about the issue, and she took off out of, outside of the, the doors. I apprehended her after that, so there was a shoplifting charge, false information to a police officer, contributing to the delinquency of the minor for her cousins, and then resisting arrest for trying to escape custody. Shake a booty. I need you to settle down, OK? E drugs, guns, knives, needles? No, ma'am, I gave him my knife. OK. Oh, yeah. Strip you search. been drinking Woo. today? Oh, yeah, never. No. Woo. No, this is just me. I make every situation the best. Okay, you need well, at least you don't make excuses no. for yourself. Woo, woo, shake your booty. Woo. OK, I need you to settle Sorry. down. Listen Sorry. to me. Look. Sorry. Settle down. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do a professional search. Go for it. Okay, do you have anything hiding up the crotch or widen your steps? No, ma'am. Widen your steps. Nothing hiding up the crotch. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Well, have you been to jail before? Yeah. Huh. Did you steal this stuff? No, sir. No. I bought that stuff. All right. The stuff I stole stayed at the store. Ow! Oh, Hello? yeah, that feels so good to be free. Okay, keep facing the map. Five. Can't take that stuff. How much alcohol did you drink today? None. This is just None. how you always Rock. act? This is me. Grab your stuff. About time. And let's relax, okay? Relax. Okay, right in here. Aww. The problem that we've got with uh, Petrolina right now is that she's not able to calm down enough to be able to be walked through the booking process in a manner that wouldn't cause a disturbance with other prisoners. We've got to see her demonstrate that behavior before we're going to let her out. to do uh, nurse checks on Petrolina, see if she's sobered up a little bit and if she's if her behavior's changed enough to where we could actually bring her out. But it appears that she's still kind of dancing and still acting pretty. Uh, so. Can I let the nurse check your vitals? Of course. Okay, put you back against the I don't bus. want to hide. You guys will get me the hell out of here. I'm stop dancing around. Man, that's just me. God, I'm sorry if you hate your job, but I just love my life. I love my life. I'm just a crazy-ass person, all right? You're never going to meet another me, all right? I should be so happy that I'm here. I think, yeah, gorgeous, happy as hell. Life's just too crazy. Shake your booty. Hey, you really need to stand still so the nurses can get See, look, the look that guy's so mean to me, man. He just wants me to be sad. Oh, serious. <laughs> Are you always this way? I'm this always way? this way. I'm not even drunk. Give me a breathalyzer. That's what I want right now. A breathalyzer and a drug test. So I can tell you guys that I'm nowhere close to intoxicated. I got two kids. Can you finish it up? They keep me busy enough. What were you doing tonight? Shoplifting. 
That was not a good idea. Oh, I know that now. Yeah, you're too happy. You can't creep and... I've only been in, I in Utah for three days. Not All no right. drugs, not no okay. alcohol. Please just let me out. Step back in there. Okay, calm. Calm. Go inside. Okay. Hey. hey. Petrolina, the thing is, is you've got to show us you can be calm. You're acting still <gasps> Just calm down. I can calm down. When you guys put me in a room like this, you know what makes me crazy, 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 crazy. The problem like is, that. is, is as long as you act like that, you're going to be in this room. I'm always like this. Okay. If you keep back like this, you're going to keep sitting in here. Fine. I'm going to myself to sleep. Will that get me out of here? Okay. I'm in here by myself. Okay. Let, let me explain this to you. You demonstrate to us that you can act that way, then I have no problem pulling you out, okay? Her medical results, her vitals were a little bit too high, still associated with the alcohol that's wearing out of her system. As she sobers up, it's her choice, really, when she comes out. As long as she can demonstrate a level of cooperation, we'll get her out, we'll get her booked through, and we won't have any more problems with her. Bring you to jail tonight? Uh, because I got caught with my homeboy tagging. No, Paint, no. painting up something. At Street. Okay. You know, but you been here before? Yeah, before when I was drunk. You been drinking tonight? Hell yeah, bro. You, you know. Liquid how... courage so you go out there tagging. Yeah, I'm stupid like that when I get drunk, you know. Yeah, do some crazy stuff. Like so, not that homie. All right. What's your Levi? first name? Levi. That's your real first name? Yeah, okay. Levi. All right. Jacket on right here. My name's in the Bible. It is, really. You know, the Leviticus and <laughs> Levi. You go to church? Yeah. Festa. Come on, the mother. Take your earrings off. Show. Shut the <laughs> Oh, I love being white and Mexican, you know? Chicano. <laughs> Speak both languages. <laughs> like. I got you, Levi. This is my homeboy right here. This is my homeboy cop. Even though my brother's a cop, it's like, whatever, homie. Okay, not yet. Because, no, my brother's a cop. He's going to get me out of here like this. All right, Levi, go take your uh, football. Go take the shirt off right here. Take the shirt. shirt right here. Shoot. Okay, go okay, yeah. grab the counter. Walk your feet back towards me, the edge of the counter. There you go. Spread your feet wide. All right. Spread your, spread your feet wide. They're very wide, folks. What's the fuck? You go wider than that. Come on. Dude. The there you go. You want me to no, 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 not that far. Right. There you go, right there, hold that. <laughs> dude, dude, how Keep your hand far are you? Listen, listen to this guy. Do you think I'm like about? a dumbass or something? Okay. Not listen. stupid. Look at I got a tattoo right hey, now on the counter. Hey, hey. Keep your hand on the counter. Listen. You guys act like you guys are like the government. Dude, not no right leg up. Right, leg up. right leg up. Right leg up. Bend your knee. You guys act like it's some CSI. Lift your leg up. Done. He's all done. Let's all go. right, then. I told well, you guys. Well, right behind you. You guys act like you guys are hardcore or something. No, I don't want to listen to your mouth anymore. Well, stop being a suspicious, bro. I'm not going to the wall, you open guys. The door. See you in a few hours. All right, then. All right. Hey, throwing gang signs. Hey, officer. Yes. What brought you in contact with this uh, guy tonight? Uh, he was spraying, spraying 18th Street graffiti all over North Portland. Nice. Yeah, that's what he told me also. Yeah. Nice. A little bit, a little, little liquid courage? I, I believe so. He said just a little bit. He's turning 21 at the end of the month, so oh, okay. it's okay. Celebrating early. Yeah. As soon as you sober up, we'll get you through the process, all right? No, I'm sober, dude. Okay, you're pretty you're pretty intoxicated. No, I'm not. I swear. I okay. swear I'm not sober. Okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm good. All right, well, s later on, we'll try to get you through the process, okay? Uh, the process, uh, can I just go, like, over there and make a phone call? Not right now. Right now, you got to sit in this room until... I know, but I rather prefer just to chill out over there because... This is a small room, and I got anxiety really bad. Well, you're kind of you're kind of a wild man up here in the front, so we got to make sure you're going to calm down before I, we I, take I, you out. I'm, I'm chill out, dude. Okay. I swear. I we'll keep not. checking on you. When we feel like we're comfortable with letting you out of that cell, we'll take you out of the cell. I am. Starting to cry. 
that's some anxiety problems. He was uh, grandstanding up here, showing all his gang signs, and then now he's in a cell crying. Yeah. That's complete reversal. That's how way he was, so. I have to try to get him out here pretty soon and see if he'll cooperate. Put your stuff on. Okay. We wouldn't have put you in there in the first place, ma'am. You just can't. No, bro. You can't I just have bad anxiety. What's that? I have yeah. bad anxiety, bro. I, can't. I can tell. I'm I can so tell. sorry, bro. For being. It's a good reason to stay out of jail, because if you stay in jail, that's what they put you in. There's a little room like I'm this. so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Just have a seat right there till okay. I'm ready for you. All right. I'm sorry. He was trying to be really macho and act tough. Then after about 15 minutes, he kind of changed his tune and he started kind of begging us to take him out. So I, I, I kind of felt sorry for him and he assured me that he wouldn't cause us any more problems. He came in for some graffiti charges, so I think the bail is like 2,500. He's going to get recaught. He's going to get out probably in a couple hours. I've been on the department 14 years now. I've been a sergeant almost eight years. Been down here in booking and pretty much any given night. You can go from a nice calm night with no major problems and then at any minute it can explode, start getting tons of arrestees coming in. Don't want anything to get out of control. The main thing is to keep anybody from getting hurt, whether it's ourselves or inmates. Oh, no, 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 excuse me. Okay, you got a camera on my face, okay. Thank you all. Oh, you know what, I want to be an actor. I swear to God, I love you. Swear to God, I did nothing wrong. Listen. Do you have any allergies to medication? Excuse me, sir. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. Excuse me. Really, yes. you. Listen. All right. Okay. Do you want to know something? I, I am a perfectly normal citizen of the United States of America. I pay my taxes. I do everything good. You realize you were a cop, and then you realize that your whole life is fake. Excuse me, officer. What, what did I do wrong? Well, one, you're yelling. It's very rude. Oh, yelling? You, you go to jail for yelling? No, but when you're inside the jail, you don't yell or you end yeah, up in the chair. Excuse me, sir. Have a cop tell you what I did wrong, please. Okay. What did I do wrong? So uh, what happened tonight with this guy in the Code 5 chair? Uh, basically, security from uh, the casino over at uh, the Hilton Hotel calls in saying he's passed out drunk, sitting up against the sidewalk, uh, got some car keys in his hand. So we show up with medical, and he's pretty drunk, so ask for his car keys. He doesn't want to give them to me. So put him in handcuffs again, just drops all his body weight on me and falls down to the ground. That's what you're being charged with? Just right now, obstructing and resisting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I swear to God, I did nothing at all. At all. All right, all. Ryan, I talked to the officer that arrested you and found out what you're here for. Yeah. You're, here, you're here for obstructing and resisting, two misdemeanors. Uh, OK. Uh, obstructing what? Obstructing justice. Oh. Interfering with the officer when he was trying to speak with you. Oh, he was trying what was going to talk on, to me? That you were trying to find your vehicle like, and you're man, intoxicated. Man-to-man -man conversation. Pretty much he prevented a DUI. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Good, are Excuse you? Excuse me, you don't answer me in time. Obstructing justice. Look at me. I'm in straps. I'm strapped down to a chair. That's and right, I, because of the way you're acting. How am I acting? Look at you. You're yelling. You're all animated. Look at you. Up. Look at you. Look you're at acting me. like a civilized human being. Uh, oh, God forbid that happens. Yeah, you should be arrested. Who, who was I obstructing? the officer that arrested you. Uh, uh, when you could... sober up, I'll oh, come no. back and talk to you some I, more. Listen, listen, mother listen. While you're in that chair and acting the way you are, you're going to stay in the chair. OK, 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 fine. I, I walked down the street, and yes, I got arrested. For obstructing and resisting. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I got arrested because of, yes. He said, excuse me, officer, what did you wrong? He says, you're being a He said, your mother... While he was sitting downstairs and we were trying to let him sober up and calm down, uh, he went out in the open booking area and uh, immediately started trying to spit. He's continued to rile himself up and make threats that if we take him out of the chair and take the cuffs off us, that he's going to make us pay, he's going to hurt us. Ryan. What's up? What did I do wrong? T tell me what I'm in here for. You're in here for resisting and obstructing. Uh, resisting what? Well, they arrested you for resisting and obstructing. They brought you to jail. Then once you're here, is, we deal is, with you is, is during your incarceration. Is alcohol legal? Yes, it is. Okay. That's the only thing I'm accused of doing wrong. I, dr I drink alcohol. I had some alcohol, right? Mm-hmm. 
and then I went about my way. But according to you, it wasn't to the rules. Not one of you, you, or any one of those officers can say any word against me. Obviously, you're still pretty intoxicated. You were put in the chair for your own safety. So I'm going to go ahead and let you calm down a little bit more, sober up a little bit more, and we'll have the nurse come talk to you later. Excuse me, officer. Thought he was starting to sober up, but apparently not. We'll try again in a few hours. Open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get about it. And the doors open up and they leave me outside I'm gonna go home to my family tonight I've been thinking about my home